everyone assalamu alaikum welcome back to dr teeth in the last video we had learned about the all metal crowns and in this video as promised we are going to learn about the porcelain fused to metal crowns the advantages disadvantages indications and contraindication so before we dive into the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe and also leave a thumbs up because it really motivates me to create more videos of this kind starting with the advantages now pfm crowns can be called as a safe side in india because obviously all metal crown cannot be given for anterior teeth but for the patients who cannot afford zirconia or lithium disilicate pfm crown is a suitable option but we have to know its indications and contraindication there are certain cases where we cannot give pfm crown to the patient so we'll see that let's start with the advantages it has good strength it has lesser strength compared to the all metal because the porcelain layering we do on the top that is brittle and it is prone to fracture but still it has a good amount of strength as you can see in this picture we have our tooth then we have a metal coping on the top we have a porcelain layer so that is why we say it is a porcelain fused to metal crown so it has good strength but it has average aesthetics it does not look very natural but it is affordable and it can be given as facings okay so as you can see only buccal side we have porcelain in this case so it can be given as porcelain so that it meets the aesthetic demands but if you don't have an adequate interocclusal space we can leave the occlusal as well as the lingual and proximal surface of just metal that is all metal it is easy to retrieve if needed coming to disadvantages it needs more tooth preparation so it is least conservative we need a tooth reduction of about 2 mm there can be gray appearance of the gingival margin because obviously we have metal inside which can peek through Now if we under prepare means less amount of tooth reduction is done than needed it can lead to metal exposure when you try to adjust it also after adjusting if we leave the porcelain rough it can wear off opposing natural tooth it is very abrasive then as already discussed porcelain is brittle and can fracture Now where is it indicated in which cases can we give a pfm crown so it is suitable for posterior teeth it can be given for anterior if the patient cannot afford zirconia or lithium disilicate if the teeth is discolored then you can use it because the metal will mask the discoloration and then the porcelain will give the required aesthetic result if cpd is to be given along with the crown so here i have my case In this, we have given a PFM crown, and as you can see, we have a precision attachment here. So, in such cases, also PFM crowns can be given. Now, where not to give a PFM crown for patients having high aesthetic demands? Don't do that mistake. If the patient has metal allergy, if the patient has parafunctional habits like bruxism, because porcelain is brittle, it will fracture. So in patients having parafunctional habits PFM crown is not recommended. Lithium disilicate crown can be given in such patients. So in the next video we'll be talking about the zirconia crowns. If you found this video helpful do let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.